Hello, welcome to my channel. My name is Angie Morris. For those who are new to my channel, the Lord calls me Sia. When he wants to, by his spirit, he can open my eyes and I can see his holy angels and what their assignments are. When he wants to, he can open my eyes and expose the works of the enemy and then I can break his assignments. Hallelujah. When he wants to, he gives me visions, dreams. I can see things written up in the spiritual realm. He gives me knowing understandings by his spirit. I've been taken in the spirit to different places. I've been shown things in heaven. Now, this is everything that he is doing by his spirit. It's not something I'm trying to do. It's what he does for his will, his purposes. So he looked to the Lord in all things. He started giving me messages and he caused them from Father's heart to yours. They're anointed. They're birthed and brought forth by the Spirit. To receive these messages, to receive Father's heart to your heart. Right now, yield to his Spirit, Holy Spirit. Release to him. All your concerns. Release to him right now everything that's been burdening you in your heart. Things that have been on your mind. Just release it over to him right now. And say, Holy Spirit, I yield to you. Move upon my heart and move in my life. I yield all over to you now. Holy Spirit, have your way. Because the Lord is the Spirit, you see. And where the Spirit of the Lord is, there is freedom. 2 Corinthians 3.17 What I'm going to speak to you is by the Spirit. It's truth. And the truth sets us free. You only choose to receive from the Holy Spirit, the Spirit of the Almighty Living God. Anything that's not of Him, you, you do not receive it. But you receive from Him. And say to Holy Spirit right now, I yield to you. I receive only from you, Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit, have your way. And I'm in agreement with beautiful Holy Spirit who is moving. Holy Spirit, have your way. Hello, my brothers and sisters. I have a beautiful message from our Lord. He surprised me with this message. I wasn't expecting to do a video today. It is a message from his heart to yours. I desire very much that you would hear him speaking to you. Though you can see me and hear my voice, this is Father speaking to you, to his beloved children which you are, precious in his sight, important, of great worth, valuable. You are his child. You are his. Mine, says the Lord. <laughs> if you're watching this video, it's not a coincidence. You've been brought here by the Spirit of the Lord. He has a message to speak to his child, his beloved, before I share this message, I take authority over everything of the realms of darkness, no matter where they're located, and bind them in the name of Jesus. I'm trying to hinder, distract, or block you from receiving this message from Father's heart to yours. In Jesus' name. Beautiful Holy Spirit, move upon your children. Move upon their hearts right now, no matter where they are in the world. No matter where they are, there's no distance in the Spirit. Move upon them now. I can see wars. All right. I'm getting shown my eyes are being opened now. I'm sore. I can see wars. Wars erected to defend and protect your heart. All right. Someone has unforgiveness. Please forgive according to the word of God. And then Jesus can heal your heart. I'm getting words of knowledge. There's bitterness. There's resentment. I'm hearing hurt. 
Lord Jesus, please calm now and heal the hearts of your children. Disappointment, rejection, overlooked, abandonment. Oh Lord, he's opened, he's allowed me to um, hear what's happening in your heart. And, I, and he wants to heal your heart. He does it because he wants to heal your heart. Please forgive those who have in some way hurt you, rejected you, abandoned you, made you feel overlooked, disappointed you. Maybe they offended you, hurt you. Forgive them, please. And Lord Jesus then can heal your heart and set you free. Yes, they're your children, that's what he said. These are my children, they're your children, Father. I thank you, Lord Jesus, that you restore souls. We are complete in you, restored. I'm hearing Psalm 23 for someone. The Lord is our shepherd, we shall not want. He'll make us lie down in green pastures and beside still waters. He restores our soul. In him we are complete. Hallelujah. We are whole lacking no good thing in Christ. Now this waiting on him. He wants us I'm getting shown streams. Shadiano Psalm one. Ah, oh, Jeremiah seventeen seven. Blessed is the man who trusts in the Lord whose hope is the Lord. He'd be like a, a tree planted by waters. He'll revive you. He will grow you. He will encourage you. He'll uphold you in him. He is the living waters, the river of life. Lord Jesus, this is your spirit moving on behalf of your children who are watching and listening right now. Move and have your being beautiful, my Lord and my God, my Saviour, my Redeemer, Messiah. Move upon the hearts of your children and in their lives. I ask that you would intervene in their lives, please. Father's will be done. Father's will made manifest in their lives and through their lives and to his glory. In your glorious name, Lord Jesus, in Jesus' name, amen. Father, I'm going to read out what you gave me by your spirit. It's a beautiful um, letter, a message from your heart to your children. I do so you know this, Father, in utmost reverence unto you. I'm accountable to you. I walk in a good, healthy fear of the Lord. These are your children. They're the sheep of your pasture. These are your beloved children, whom you be destined to be yours. This is your heart to theirs. Thank you, Father. Yes, soften their hearts to receive. I thank you for this. Bokasha anyamoko lakeke Okay, wherever you are, white curtains, you're seated in heavenly realms. If Lord Jesus raised up with him, white shirt representing Holy Spirit, this is Holy Spirit ministry. This is Father's ministry. While sitting with our Lord, I heard to read from the book of Isaiah. I said the Lord speaks to me. He'll just give me, bring a book to my mind. I open up and he starts speaking to me. But before I turned to Isaiah in my Bible, I felt prompt to ask of our Lord if he had a message for his children. The Spirit said, Fear not, nor be dismayed. When I looked to where this verse was found, I discovered it was in Isaiah, <laughs> where he had told me to go read. <laughs> it's Isaiah 41.10. Fear not. I am with you. This is a word for you. This is a word from the Lord to his children, to you. Fear not, for I am with you. Do not be dismayed, for I am your God. I will strengthen you. Yes, I will uphold you. I will uphold you with my righteous right hand. What a beautiful word to be given. The right hand represents authority. The one who has all authority in heaven, on earth and beneath it, upholds us. Righteous right hand, meaning 
He'll do what is right for his children. He is perfect in all his ways. And he's holding our hand. If you read in Isaiah 41, 13, verse 13, For I, the Lord your God, will hold your right hand, saying to you, Fear not, I'll help you. So he has us. And then he gave me this message. Are you ready? I'm so happy you're here. God bless you all. Many of my children. Now when he said this, I heard desolate. Are anxious and dismayed. Fearful and worried. Caught up in what is happening and how they feel about it. You ever been there before? I have called my children to walk by faith. For without faith, you cannot please me. He who is faithful. He emphasized, highlighted, calling himself faithful. Now understand, he gives me these messages and then I have to find out where the verses are because I understand I'm reading, I'm hearing him, his word as he speaks. He always confirms through his word. Always. You can find what he just said to me for Hebrews 11.6. He's faithful to his children. Why? It's who he is. I reward those who diligently seek me. Those who turn to me, look into me, and not to what is happening. Who cast their cares onto me for knowing I care for them. You can read that in Psalm 55, 22 and 1 Peter 5, 7. I'll not leave you desolate in a barren place. When he said desolate, I heard a barren place. A place where you're feeling desolate and barren. I will not leave you there. I will defend and protect you. Hallelujah. I will fight for you if you let me. Take your hand off from what is causing you to feel anxious and dismayed. From what is causing you to feel fearful and worry. So my hand can move on your behalf. Now, when I heard that, the image I got was someone, I've explained this in another video, and this is the image I got, is someone holding on to something. That circumstance, that that situation, um, their health, whatever's going on, they're holding on to it into their hearts. They're holding on to it. Father wants us to get our hands off <laughs> and give it over to him so his hand can move in that circumstance and that situation that's possibly grieving us and causing us worry and upset within our hearts and our lives. I am your papa. Now he gave this another message recently, and it's a very, it's, it's my personal way of talking to him. I call him papa. So for him to say that it's him talking to you personally, he is our papa. I am your papa. I will not leave you nor forsake you. It's a promise. I am drawing you closer to me. I am causing you to walk by faith. Anybody seen my recent video where the Lord led me to walk by faith? Oh my goodness, he will test our faith. He will because he loves us. So we constantly grow, ever increasing in our faith toward him who is faithful. Trusting me, looking to me. This means not to ourselves, not to another person, not to the circumstance and situation, but to our Lord, to Papa. To walk by faith, not by sight, is 2 Corinthians 5, 7. Not to how you're feeling, not every random thought you get, not your circumstance or situations, not what someone said, a doctor said, you walk by faith, looking at the one who is faithful and true. To rise up as if on wings of an eagle. 
I don't know though where that was. Sorry, 4031. High above what is concerning you. To receive my peace and be at rest. Oh, please feel his peace. Receive his peace and rest right now. What came to mind when he said that was Matthew eleven twenty eight, When Lord Jesus said, come to me, all you who labor. What's labor? Work. And are heavy laden, carrying a burden, not of him. And I will give you rest, said Lord Jesus. It's a ceasing from our own works. Ceasing from trying to work it out in our strength. Carrying something we're not meant to carry. And then we'll have peace and rest. As we rest in the finished work of the cross. What Lord Jesus has done for us. And what God can do. For I have got you. Says the Lord. And I will not let you go. When he said this I heard reassurance. He's reassuring you. I don't know what you're going through, but he does. He's reassuring you. He's not going to let you go. Come to me and leave me your concerns. Receive my peace, for my thoughts toward you are of good, not evil, to give you a future and a hope. Jeremiah 29 11. I will cause all things to work together for your good as you trust in me. Romans 8, 28. Leaning not upon your own understanding about what is happening. Proverbs 3, 5. Praise you, Lord. Not looking at the what if and what could happen, but looking to me, says the Lord. Saying that to you right now. Looking to Him. Praise the Lord. Trusting in Him. continues confessing my promises which are yes and amen confess my truth and see me release the truth into your circumstances confess with words of faith and I will release my holy angels to war for you to intervene on your behalf your faith being in me for I am faithful Oh, hear his love, my beloved child, whom I've destined to be mine. Thank you, Lord. I am faithful. I am with you. I am for you. I do not abandon my children. Do not abandon me. Your Papa, Abba Father. Oh, I don't know why I'm crying. He's just so beautiful. He loves us all. Okay. Thank you, Father. Please minister to the hearts of your children. You know what they're going through. You love them so. Thank you. Now, Father referred to himself three times as being faithful. That got, my, that got me curious. I researched and found out Hebrew for God is faithful is El Emet, meaning the faithful God of truth. It's who he is. Deuteronomy 7.9 Therefore know that the Lord your God, he is God, the faithful God, who keeps covenant and mercy for a thousand generations to those who love him and keep his commandments. He is trustworthy. He is dependable. He is not a man that he would lie. Oh, then I heard that his word would accomplish the thing it sent forth to do. In Isaiah 55, 11, in Isaiah again. <laughs> he started with Isaiah and finished with Isaiah. 
so shall my word be that goes forth from my mouth. It shall not return to me void, but it shall accomplish what I please, and it shall prosper in the thing for which I sent it. This message is from the Father, may it prosper in the thing it sent forth to do. When you speak his promises out from your Bible, with faith in your heart, it's not that you're trying to make something happen, you're looking to him. His word is truth. He is the word of God. He is the truth. He is faithful and true. You speak it out. Looking to him, what he can do. Not you trying to make something happen, because we can't. But we're looking to him and trusting him and speaking his words, his promises out over a situation, over our health, over our finances, over our loved ones, whatever's happening, we can find the word that would tell us the answer and we confess it out in faith. And the Lord says in this message, he'll release his holy angels to intervene, to help us. He wants to do that. Look to him. He is faithful. He is our God. He is our Father. He is Papa. Please receive this message from him. I don't know what you're going through, but he does and he loves you very much. He surprised me with this message and to do a video today. <laughs> he knows what you're going through right now. And he's reaching out to you. Reach out to him. Turn to him. Trust him. Look to him. Confess out words of faith. Whatever is happening. He's there for you and never leave you nor forsake you. He will not abandon you. It's just not who he is. He's faithful. Father, I release this message you've given me by your spirit. For your children. I thank you. It will accomplish the thing it sent for to do, to minister to your hearts of your children, so they would hear the truth and be set free, Lord, from fear and worry and dismay and anxiety, discouragement, despondency, depression, whatever it is. They'd be set free from it, Lord, as they look to you and hear the truth. They receive the truth. Receive your love. Because you love them with an everlasting love. And nothing can separate them from your love. These are your beloved children. Thank you, Papa. Thank you. In Jesus' name, Amen. If you agree with that, write down Amen. And from your heart, write down Amen. And receive it by faith. I love you. I'll see you in the next video in Father's timing and by His Spirit. Bye-bye. If this message, what I have shared with you, has blessed you, please like the video. If you feel led by the Lord, please subscribe to my channel. So when I do release a video, share a message by the leading of his spirit you'll be notified and if you feel led please share this video i desire very much that father's truth go far and wide that his spirit move upon the hearts of his children and do a change deep within us all that will be evident and christ be seen lives be changed and all to the glory of the father hallelujah god bless you all i'll see you in the next video in father's timing and by his spirit Mwah. bye bye